I've been using the Logitech Harmony Elite for years, but now that Logitech has stopped making universal remotes, let's check out this new smart remote from Sofa Bhutan today. Hi, this is David of Tech for Baba, a channel I share my experiences on how technology enhances my time with kids and family as a dad. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider subscribing to the channel. In today's video, let's unbox the Sofa Baton X1 Smart Remote and see how easy it is to set up. I'll also share after using it a few weeks, my thought on how it compares with my trusted Logitech Harmony Elite, which unfortunately is now discontinued. You can still see my review of it linked here and below in the description. The X1 comes in a nice white box with the remote and the hub printed on top. Inside the box, there is the remote, looks quite good nice smooth surface under the foam there's a colorful manual with pictures a feedback card with basic settings printed in the back a hub an usb charger with the cable USB-A to USB-C. Another charging cable. And two infrared blasters on one cable. And another cable with one infrared blaster. Let's look at the remote in more detail. The remote is in a long rectangular shape, measuring about seven and a half inches by one and three quarters inches and three quarter inches thick. It looks like a baton. This must be why the company's called Sofa Baton. Cool name. In any case, it has a matted black smooth plastic shell. It tapers down towards the bottom so it's easy to hold. The buttons are nicely laid out, not too crowded with good spaces in between. There is an off button and a back button on the top a 2 inch long LCD screen, a scroll wheel, a navigation wheel, another back button, home and menu buttons, volume up and down, mute, and channel up and down, back, play, pause, and next buttons. Lastly, four customizable buttons with color labels at the very bottom. It's smoothed in the back with a subtle gray printed sofa button logo and certification info. On the bottom of the remote, there's an USB-C charging port for the rechargeable battery inside. Here it is next to the Harmony Elite remote. They're about the same size. The Harmony Elite has a shiny piano black top and a rougher, more rubbery surface on the back. It's fatter and rounder on the bottom and thins out towards the top. I say the Harmony Elite is easier to hold, less slippery at least, but the X1 feels quite comfortable in the hand as well. The X1 hub is square shaped. 4 inches by 4 inches and about 3 quarters inches thick. It's in a shiny black color with a hint of dark purple. It's quite light and there are 4 rubber feet on the bottom to keep it in place. There's an indicator light in the front. In the back, there's a pairing button. USB-C port for power and two holes for the blaster cables. All right, let's see if it's easy to set up. First, plug the hub in, then download the Sofa Baton app from Google Play or iOS App Store. Once an account is created, there is a good beginner's guide to walk through the setup process. Basically, press the pairing button on the hub for three seconds to put it in the pairing mode. Select the hub in the app then put in the Wi-Fi SSID and password to connect it to the Wi-Fi. Once connected, I can search for and add the devices I want to control with the remote. I think having a robust device database in place can make or break a universal remote like this. Sofa Baton says it has already included over 500,000 devices in the database, and I've been able to find most of my devices there. The app lists a few hot or popular streaming devices brands like Apple TV, 
Roku, and NVIDIA on top. For example, let me try to add my Yamaha receiver. Put in the brand Yamaha, the model number A3060. Hit done and search, even though it couldn't find the partial model number I put in. It actually suggested the correct full model name, which is great. What's odd though is some of the popular devices such as Sony, PlayStation 4 and 5 aren't in the database yet. If I put in Sony and search for PlayStation, only PlayStation 3 comes up. There is a trim method which let me try it out all the available code for a device type, say TV. Wow, there are currently 118 sets of codes to try. Not sure if I'm up for that. The app does have a quick way for me to report missing devices to solve up a ton. If a brand's code isn't in the database, like the Photorg Mini Projector I just reviewed, There's a pop-up for me to submit the feedback to Sofa Bhutan, and Sofa Bhutan will try to add it within three business days. Once the devices are set up, activities such as streaming a show from NVIDIA Shield to the TV can be added by programming a series of key commands. In my setup, I turn on the LG TV, NVIDIA Shield, and the Yamaha receiver. Selecting the input on the LG TV, in this case, HDMI 1 from the Yamaha receiver. Then on the Yamaha receiver, pick input 3. Now the Sofa Bhutan database for my Yamaha receiver doesn't have a button for each HDMI input yet. So I have to switch by selecting the input button and the number 3 for HDMI 3. Hopefully, Sofa Bhutan will add the full functionality of my Yamaha receiver remote into the database soon. Next, I need to select which devices I want to control the volume with. In my case, the Yamaha receiver. For other controls like navigation, play, and stop, I assign them to the NVIDIA Shield. Pick a name like Watch NVIDIA Shield and an icon. That's it. Okay, after a few weeks of using the X1 remote, here are my thoughts. Jumping to the bottom line first, I think this remote has great potential, but it will take some time. First, the database needs time to be more robust. Sofa Bhutan has actively added so many devices already in their database, but there are so many devices out there. It will take more time to have a robust database like the one Logitech has with the Harmony Elite. Second, it will take time to make the Sofa Bhutan app less buggy. I encountered locks up and failures here and there during the setup process like updating the firmware or connecting to the hub that needed restarts to clear. Hardware wise, I wish the X1 has a touch screen like the Harmony Elite and a charging dock so I don't need to plug the remote into a cable to charge it. As is though, the X1 has been working reliably once I got through the setup process. $489, the X1 remote has great potential to be the universal remote to get now that the Harmony Elite has been discontinued. At the time of this video, the X1 is on sale for around $150 with 5% extra discount in the link I'll put in the description below. I look forward to it getting better and better as Sofa Bhutan continues to make it more and more robust. Thanks for watching. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Do you think universal remotes are still needed these days with streaming and HDMI eARC technologies? Let us know in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, please subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified when I put out my next video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember to cherish each moment. Special thanks to Sofa Bhutan for sending this out for me to try and share with you.